it's the Christmas season as some would say that Batman Returns is a Christmas movie. I gave it a rewatch and now I'm gonna review it. Batman Returns was released in 1992 and was directed by Tim Burton and was his second crack at the character following his 1989 Batman movie. It stars Michael Keaton, Michelle Pfeiffer, Danny DeVito, and I forgot Christopher Walken was in this. Upon his release, it broke several box office records and if you wanted to watch it, right now it's available on Max to stream along with all the other 80s and 90s Batman movies. So to properly understand this iteration of Batman on film, you need to first know what came before it. Batman was already one of the most popular and well-known superheroes following the Adam West version of the character. That version of Batman is super beloved, but also probably the most campy live action version of a superhero character that you could find. The Tim Burton movies were a total departure from what folks were used to from the character in live action, but comic book fans knew the true potential of the character. They got rid of the gray and blue and bright colors and brought in lots of black and Tim Burton's signature aesthetic. Looking back at Batman Returns now, there was so much that was iconic. We can start with the character design of Catwoman. Man, it was flawless. This is still the depiction that comes to mind first when I think of the character. And same with Batman, it's never not fun to watch Batman do his thing. The black and yellow armored suit was perfect, except for the fact that he couldn't turn his head. And it's debatable, but this might be the coolest iteration of the Batmobile out there. This is very much a Tim Burton movie, even more so than the 89 Batman at least when it comes to aesthetics and the choice of music. Gotham was beautiful here and I kind of love how it had this timeless aesthetic. The men wore suits and overcoats and hats and nobody wore anything casual like t-shirts and jeans. That added to the personality of the depiction of the city and the equally iconic Batman the Animated Series debuted around the same time and you can tell that it took a little bit of inspiration from this. It shared that suits and overcoats vintage aesthetic. Batman Forever and Batman and Robin get a lot of flack for how campy they are, but Batman Returns was campy too, way more than I remember. It has the reputation for being more dark, and it was, but Catwoman and Penguin take their characters' motifs to the maximum level. Catwoman's eating live birds and Penguin's eating raw fish with the head still on them, and tons of puns with both of them and Penguin has an army of actual penguins that for some reason live in the sewers of Gotham. Catwoman gets her abilities because when she was pushed out of a window, a bunch of cats licked and bit her. And why does Penguin have a bunch of clown henchmen? The Joker isn't even in this. Joel Schumacher took his campiness to the next level with all his little glowing gadgets and stuff, but I feel like people should ease up on those movies. After seeing this, I'm glad that the Keaton Batman got to be put in a more modern movie recently with the Flash film. While a lot of things in this movie are super iconic, what could be done with action and special effects has improved drastically since 92. The things that we got to see Keaton do just simply weren't possible when Batman Returns came out. The action just isn't the best thing going on in this movie compared to the things that we see happening nowadays. There was a moment where the Penguin took a spinning umbrella and threw it at Catwoman and she floated away on it with it spinning. Kind of corny. Speaking of Penguin, despite how iconic the character design is and how fantastic Danny DeVito did as the character, I'm not the biggest fan of this look. It was super gross and off-putting and there's always like black goo dripping from his mouth. So now I'm going to answer the question, is Batman Returns a Christmas movie? Well, it certainly takes place during Christmas, but is it an actual Christmas movie? Hell yeah, it is. There's Christmas trees and lights throughout the movie. We get multiple Merry Christmases throughout the movie. It takes place in a snowy setting for at least part of the film. What more could you possibly want? It's definitely a Christmas movie. So Batman Returns is a fun movie and 
full of imagery that's as iconic as it gets. It was a necessary step for superhero cinema to get to the heights that it's achieved today. So while a lot holds up like the character design and the overall aesthetic of the movie, it's a lot more campy than it has the reputation of being and the action and effects show their age as well. So Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to you and your family. How do you think Batman Returns holds up in the present day? Let me know in the comments. Be sure to like this video if you're enjoying my content and subscribe so you don't miss my next one.